What's going on you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here and welcome back to Five Nights at Smudger's Nightmare Mode where we will be taking on night two in this video in this video. So without further ado, we'll take on night two and let's see what has on for us. And can anyone tell me in the comments what fun with Scruffy is? Because cause because I'm clearly trying to or sorry, I messed up my words. Every time I try to click on it, it doesn't work. I don't know what it is. Watch as I clearly highlight it. Let me know in the comments what fun with Scruffy is, because I don't know what it is. But anyways, for Night 2, or as it's also known as Nightmare Shift 2, here's the description. After Reynolds woke up, after Reynolds was abruptly woken up from his nightmare, he just brushed it off as it was just a bad dream. But this would be more than just a dream. Alright. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera by accident. Anyways, start night two, and let's get in see what has offered for us. Okay, so... Alright, so apparently the mechanics change. I wonder if for each night we do, the mechanics change and we deal with a new character. Because I see a new threat on there. Okay. So for Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram, for Smudger, if, if he is in the hallway, use the mask, Proteus, and Bertram. Use the mask if you see them too. And then for the masks, the masks and... Sorry, I messed up. Sorry, I mispronounced it. For the masked engine, or a.k.a. smoother, shock the room that he is in on the map. For controls, click on the room in the map, shock it, enter to start the night. Okay, so I wonder how we're going to know when the mask, the masked engine will show up. Okay. Oh, that's the shock button. Okay. So I guess I got to check the hallways for Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram. And then if we see one of them, we have to wear this mask right there. And then how am I going to know when the mask ends? Okay, how was I supposed to know that Bertram was there? Do we have like a flashlight or something that we can use? Because... Okay, how am I supposed to know when Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram show up? Do I just have to look in the hallways? Okay, this is confusing. Okay, that's Smudger. Okay, so, at least we know how Smudger shows up. Okay, so apparently... What? Okay, so apparently the power went out and we have to use a flashlight to check for Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram. And then for Smoother, if we see him on the map, we have to... Press the shock button. Oh, hi, Smudger. Hi, Proteus. So for Smoother, if we see his face on the map, we have to use the shock button. For Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram, we have to put on the mask. Okay, so I figured out how to deal with that. Now I'm turning down the volume a little bit because that shock button is loud as hell. Okay, that sounds smoother makes his bone chill. Alright, so night. Oh, gone. Damn it. Okay, smoother just killed me. Great. Okay, do I have to 
So for Proteus and Bertram, I think I have to wait for them to come in the office, then put the mask on. Okay. Because Proteus didn't leave when I put the mask on. And I forgot about Smoother. Alright, so night two's not as difficult as night one is, but it's confusing. Because night, night one was a little bit tricky. Night two's more confusing than tricky. Because I have to move around and check the hallways. For like Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram. Oop. And then use the mask to get rid of them. And then use the shock button to get rid of Smoother. And I don't know why, but at 1 a.m., the flash, the power goes out, and we're stuck with the flashlight. And that alarm, and that grandfather clock was bone chilling. Am I supposed to be concerned about the grandfather clock making that noise at every hour? You see? Okay, so we got rid of Bertram and Smodra. I gotta check for Proteus too. God, I got so startled by that a that grandfather clock that I got jump scared by um Smodra. Yep, getting rid of Smoother. Nope, you're not up, oh, Smodra. Okay, why do they have to make that glitching sound? Okay, why did Smudger, Proteus, and Bertram have to make the glitching sound every time they appear in my room? That's kind of creepy. Okay, getting rid of Smudger. And Smoother. And then I gotta check for Proteus and Bertram. I'm going to be jumping into part two any minute because these nights are slow. Nope, goodbye Smoother. And goodbye Smudger too. So pretty much Smoother takes one of the three paths to get in the room. Okay, so for Proteus, if he's in the hallway... Then we just have to put on the mask until we get rid of them. And the same with Bertram. Smudger's the only one that will, like, come in the office before we put the mask on. Up, oh, Bertram. What? I put the mask on. How did Bertram kill me? Did I not check the... Th okay. Did I not check it in time or something? One thing I forgot to point out, Bertram's name is spelled wrong. I think I have to look directly at Bertram to use the mask, because for Proteus, I gotta look directly at him to get rid of him. Okay, I don't know what it is with Bertram. Okay. I mean, I know the mechanics for night two, but it's a little bit tricky. It's tricky like night one is, but thankfully, though, the mechanics are easier to use, though. It's not as tricky as night one, though, so that's a good thing. Oh, God, I hate when the grandfather clock rings. Because the grandfather clock means the hour changes. <laughs> 